This is a follow-up video to my previous video, which I'll link to in the description below, where I repaired this player which had no response to any button presses. At the time, I wasn't sure what it was that had fixed the problem, but since then I've been able to do some testing, and this video will explain what I think the solution is. So I've been testing both of these units out now um, for the last few days. The only odd thing that I found on them is um, if they both power down, which they will do in a minute, um, to get this one working again, I just have one press on the play button. And on this one, I need two presses on the play button. So let me demonstrate that for you. This one I'm going to press. Nothing happened. If I press again, it plays. Whereas this one, I press the button and it plays straight away. Other than that, they seem to be working properly, although occasionally this one wouldn't stop properly. It stopped now and that stopped now. And what I think the problem is, is it's a problem with the ribbon cable where you open the unit. So if you look at this unit here, we've got, if I want to get the disc out of this unit, let's zoom out a little bit. I press the eject mechanism there and it opens up here. And this part here is, is the pivot point. Let's take the disc out. And that flex in there flexes this ribbon cable here. So what you need to do, or what I suspect you need to do, is take the back of the unit off and clean this ribbon cable. And I'll show you a video I made of that now. And I don't know whether you can see down there. Down there, the other side of that metal bracket, you can see an orange ribbon cable. And that is the ribbon cable that connects the controller board and the display board in the lid with the main circuit board. And I think that is the problem that this unit was having. I took it all to pieces, clean up the battery corrosion and what have you. And what I think is happening, every time you eject it, that is getting flexed. And either the cable breaks, or it, um, or it's getting slightly dislodged. So I hadn't planned to do this video, but I just wanna, I'm curious now, and I'm in down the rabbit hole, as I say. So I'm gonna undo these screws. Um, and now we need to take the bottom case off, like that. And that's the ribbon cable I'm talking about. So let me um, rearrange my camera, get, give you a better shot of that. So every time you eject the disc, it flexes just a little bit on this cable. And either the cable sustains damage from that minute flexing, or it becomes loose or disconnected slightly from here. Now I did clean the cable last time. I'm going to give it another clean this time. So I'm going to undo the, um, the connector. Now there was another um, player I fixed. Um, I can't remember. I'll put a link to the video in the um, description box if I can find it. There was another player I fixed which had a similar situation that the buttons weren't working or you press one button and another button was activated instead. So what I need to do now is clean that metal contact just there. Now I did it last time with a cotton bud but the cotton bud has got little strands of cotton which um, can catch on it and they're very delicate. So what I've done is I've sprayed some, I've got a, a face tissue here, facial tissue, and I've sprayed some isopropyl alcohol on it. And I'm just gonna give it a wipe with that because this is not, it's not gonna catch anything. So have some more isopropyl. I'm gonna spray the isopropyl alcohol, the IPA straight onto here if I can. It's not ideal handling. 
paper with a metal instrument, but I'm just going to wipe it off with cloth with the tissue. Now I'm going to put, put that back in. So as I said, just push it back in there and close the clip up like that. So that's what I suggest you do if you've got button presses that aren't working at all or they're giving you weird results, like you press forward and it will pause or something like that. Because I think, and I can't prove it, but I think that is the problem that causes those uh, symptoms. So thanks for watching, um, good luck with that, and if you can test yours, if you've got one, to see whether it needs one button press or two button presses, please do so and leave a comment to let me know what happens. Thanks a lot.